What's going on guys? Sean here. Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the law of attraction. At the end of this video, you'll feel why I'm so obligated to share this information with you. If you already know about the law of attraction, then you probably don't need to waste your time watching this video. This is more geared towards those who don't really know anything about the law of attraction or may have just heard something brief about it from a friend or on the internet. But definitely guys, after you watch this video, do your own research. Um, but this is just something I totally believe in and that I really think that you can use to your advantage. So without further ado, let's get started. Nerf this! So you may be asking yourself, what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is basically, in layman's terms, what you think about comes about. If you send out positive energy to the universe, you'll get positive energy back. If you send out negativity, you'll get negativity back. Another way to describe it is what you think about comes about, thoughts become things. Whatever a man can conceive and believe he can achieve. You've probably heard sayings like this all over the internet, all over Instagram from famous people, and it's true. Like, their cliches are cliches for a reason. And there are studies out there that have proven that your thoughts have magnetic properties to attract what you put out there. I'll give you an example. Have you ever been thinking to someone and say, you know what, I haven't heard from Sean in a while. I wonder how he's doing. Next thing you know, what happens? Sean shoots you a text. You run into him at the store. You see him on social media, something like that. That's because you put out that thought and it came back to you in some way, shape, or form. The same thing goes with negativity. You wake up in the morning and you're like, oh man, I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. What tends to happen? That bad day tends to snowball and that's why you have a bad day. So whatever you put out there, guys, you will get in return. I promise you that. So that's why it's so important to stay positive, especially in negative situations, because you want to break that negative situation or that challenge that you're in by putting more positivity out there and always be thinking about what you want and not what you don't want. And I'll give you another example. Like, have you ever thought about something that you really, really wanted? Like if you had a hankering for something, like I remember one time I was in the store and I was with my parents and I was really little. I just really wanted a Snickers bar. I don't know why. Like, I don't even really like Snickers that much, but I really wanted that Snickers bar. And the whole time we were we were walking around the store, I was like, man, I just want a Snickers bar. But I was just too afraid to ask. I don't know why. But for whatever reason, the universe, the law of attraction, I was thinking about that Snickers bar in the checkout line. And my mom asked me, hey, do you want a candy bar or something before we go? And... I literally attracted that Snickers bar into my life. Um, that's just something small, obviously. We attract things into our life all the time, whether we know it or not. So it's very important to always be actively thinking about what you want, looking at it, visualizing it, and whatever you think about hard enough, long enough, and what you really believe will eventually come to you. And belief is the key. Because you could say, oh, I want to be a millionaire all day long. But if you don't really believe that you can achieve it, it won't happen for you. So real quick, I'll just explain how you use it because the law of attraction is not a magic pill. It's not like you say, oh, hey, I want a Ferrari and boom, a Ferrari shows up. Will you attract yourself to that Ferrari? Yes. However, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen like that. You're not gonna just snap your fingers and a Ferrari shows up in your driveway the next day. But things have happened. Things have happened. Like people have won lotteries, people have won contests because they thought about, they visualized themselves winning that car or having that car long enough, hard enough. But basically, it works in a cycle like this. You think about something you really want. Let's just say it's buying your dream home and you think about exactly how it's gonna look. You think about the trim on the kitchen cabinets, you, you picture how the tile looks on the bathroom floor, how the granite countertops or whatever kind of countertops you want are in the kitchen, if you want an island, hardwood floors, carpet, what kind of lawn you have, um, are you gonna do something fancy like Fenway Park? Um, are you gonna have shrubbery? Are you gonna have a different color roof? Like are you gonna have a black roof, brown roof? All these things, garage, no garage, you visualize it long enough and hard enough, you'll eventually start attracting it into your life. Maybe you'll get that promotion at work. Maybe you'll find out a special financing deal through a bank. Things just seem to happen. The opportunities do present themselves. 
And one of the keys is to actually recognize those opportunities presenting themselves. Maybe, you know, you get a phone call from an old friend saying, hey, I really, you know, I really need some help on this project. I'll give you X, Y, Z if you can help me. Maybe that's the down payment on your house. I don't know. But you really have to believe that something will happen to get you closer to that item or that experience or whatever it is you want. It works like this. Instead of snapping your fingers and say, oh, I want my dream house or I want that Ferrari, you think about that positive thought about having that dream house. It becomes a feeling. That thought becomes a feeling. All right? That feeling, you know, becomes a vibration, right? It gets you moving. You're like, yes, man, I can't wait to have that dream house. I can't wait to be lounging by my indoor pool, chilling with all my closest friends and family. What does that feeling do? That feeling propels you into action. It makes you go seek out that better job or it makes you go apply for that loan or it makes you go start looking at houses. And that's, that's the key right there, action. All right, so you can't just think about it and feel all good and just wait for it to come. Because who knows, you could win you know, a lottery or something like that, but the odds of that are unlikely. So this is a more of a practical way to actually use the law of attraction. Those thoughts become feelings, those feelings become actions, and those actions become your results. Because what you do on a consistent basis is gonna yield your results. So think about, get a good feeling, get excited, get motivated, then you go do those actions, and then you get your results. It's a cycle. Thoughts, feelings, actions, results. All right, and it has to be a consistent thing. So I hope that explains the law of attraction for you um, a little bit and I hope it was easy to follow again I just felt like it was my obligation as a person to share this with you um, so go and use it to your advantage guys if you don't know about this then you can't use it to your advantage and everyone should know about it because it is a secret and you need to open yourself up to it there are so many books studies blogs about it that I just felt like I needed to do my part as a human being to help someone and if this video can help one person get closer to where they want to be then it was all worth it so I'll link a couple books down below in the description box that you can check out the best and easiest book that I recommend to read is called the law of attraction it is like so simple it has exercises you can use um, it breaks it down even simpler than I did and I'll link that below um, I'll also link the book and the DVD the secret and what the secret is is the law of attraction um, so you can go and uh, check those out I do release videos just like this to help you guys out every Monday to get your week going and every Friday to get your weekend started. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and uh, turn the notification bell on because I do release bonus videos at random and you don't want to miss those. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much.